Yo, what's going on, y'all? I'm Cavell Anderson, and we are back with another video, man. And this one, I just wanted to talk to you all real quick. Um, I've been on the move a lot lately. I've been pretty busy, so my bad. I haven't really been able to really comment, talk about some stuff, react to some of the feedback from the community and things like that. I haven't really been able to jump into the videos that I want to do just yet. Um, listen, I I'm going to be on the move a lot, so y'all going to be seeing me in different places. I know y'all liked the last setting that we had. That was actually a hotel room um it's some some cities away um i was with a friend so yeah we were spending some time there um but um yeah so we finna be um we finna be turning up on the channel y'all finna be seeing content from a lot of different places i told you all where we we're focusing on new business ventures and things like that like at the end of the day people are talking in the community and that's what that's what people are going to do people are going to talk people are going to hate people are not going to understand certain things that's just the way that it goes um my moves that I make and the things that I do in my life is not for someone else to understand. I'm man enough now to do what I want to do regardless of what anyone else thinks about it because I'm making these decisions. I'm the one living my life. I'm the one who has to live with the consequences of the things that I do as a man. And that's that's how I live my life. That's how I believe everyone should live their lives. But I have no control over somebody's lives. If, if you want to watch someone and just follow what they do and think that that's going to work for you, you have to learn the lessons that comes with that by yourself. Um, but I always advise against that. Never financial advice for me. Um, I just tell you all what I do. I'm, I'm honest, I'm transparent, and I'm always going to be. Um, at the end of the day, I don't care if I do something that turns you off because it's me. So if, if you don't like me as a person for something that I do, now you know because I let you know I did it that I'm not the type of person that you want. You, you, want, you want to be around. So that being said, Joe, it's a big topic that I did want to touch on before I get out of here. Um, the... Uh, people have been asking me, is it still worth it to hold the VV collectibles? People have been speculating that I'm leaving the community, which doesn't even make sense whatsoever. Like, because if, if you think about this argument, I posted a little bit about it on Twitter, but the argument makes absolutely no sense because all I did was just ensure that I have to stay in this project even longer than I had to before. Like, because if you actually think about it, the collectibles are going to blow up before omi token does the omi token is literally going to take like 10 years to get to where i think that is going to go and even 10 years from now that could just be at a few bucks and i do believe that it will be a few bucks at least but that's just me like you got a, a lot of people I, I don't debate the prices and things like this i don't like if you have questions about why i feel the way that i feel i'll let you know but i'm not going to debate another man on their feelings like you feel that i'm wrong you you, you looking at these charts, the numbers, they're saying something different. Totally cool. That's perfectly fine. I don't care how you get your convictions. Like, that, that's that's perfectly fine. I've seen all the charts. I'm around some of the best the, the best traders and stuff in the world, bro. Like, I, I, I get it. I, I understand the charts perspective, too. The thing is, I understand everyone who tries to combat me, I 100% understand their perspective. They never take the time to understand mine. And this is why we're never going to see eye to eye. I know what you know. You don't know what I know. That's the biggest difference between us. And that's why, like, this is why I make decisions and I feel like my decisions are always strong because I see the whole picture. No emotion involved. I could, I could absolutely, like, it's, there's nobody that I hate, to be honest. But I could I could not mess with somebody and, and if they're saying something that's valid, I'm going to listen. I'm going to absorb it. I'm going to take that in. So, yeah, anybody asking, is the collectible still valuable? Absolutely. The collectibles are probably more valuable than only right now. Especially depending on how long you plan on being in this project. If you're planning to be in this project for like the next like you you want to be here one to three years. If if my if my time to take profit was going to be within one to three years, I would be all in on the collectibles over the Omi token. But the thing is that that requires a different level of work ethic dedication because you have to know which collectibles. That's the thing. That is that is the point of what I was of why I made my investment. If I invest in Omi token, I don't have to care which which collectible pumps at what point in time. I don't have to care if Todd pumps right now. I don't have to care if they release a new Batman with crazy utility, a whole Batman game. You can go and explore the Bat Cave in real life. Like I don't have to care if they release a, a new collectible that literally makes Todd look crazy. Like I don't have to care about any of that. Now it's not that I think that that's going to happen, but it always can happen. That is a possibility. When you're invested in the Omi token, certain things can't happen. You're invested in everything. No, the Omi token may not, the OUP program and things like this may not be perfect right now, but it's not intended to be perfect. It's intended to be a start to see how it goes and to see if things need to be tweaked and improved. This is business basics. 
So, so many people get upset because things aren't perfect when it first comes out. You make it seem like it's the end of the world. Like, the way that my titles are, like, and if you know me, if you watch my videos, you know that I am never actually the way that my titles are. Like, that's what's crazy about it. My, I am never actually the way that my titles are. But it's people in this community that are my titles at all times. It's like one extreme or the other at all times, bro. Like, I title like this because it's an interesting title. And, and what I have to say, it's important to me. So I feel like other people are going to uh, find it valuable as well. But, yeah, it's just, it's crazy. It's crazy the, um, the mindsets that people have. Like, investing is so, so simple for me. Like, every mistake that the team makes, people like to jump on it, try to tell them about their stuff and things like that. For me personally, when I'm making an investment, it's simple. Do I trust the people? A product can be good, start off good, and turn bad. A product can start off bad and turn good. A, a product like that you can make a ton. Like it's so many different things that can go wrong or right with a pro with a product. What you don't change, what you can't change, is a person, their nature, their history, what they have accomplished, what they do, the type of people that they are, what they have shown me. Like looking at their history, I already saw the type of people that they were. I looked at David Yu's history and saw that most of the companies that he's been a part of, he stays involved in these companies in some way, shape, or form, which means he does not quit something when he starts it. He does not, he does not look for one place and then jump to another place and things like that. He makes a decision and he stands by his decision. This man has done that his entire career. You can see it just by, just by looking at his LinkedIn. Alfred Kahn, I mean, his resume speaks for itself. He has accomplished a lot. Like He's generated, what, 20... Like he, for, for, for 25 years in a row, he generated a billion dollars. It's like, he's the guy doing stuff like that. Like, when you look at this team of killers that you have over at Vivi, you can't help but be bullish. Now, if you're listening to a bunch of idiots who's like, who's crying about every little thing that doesn't make sense right now, that doesn't, that you can't get a full pic, you're not going to get the full picture when they're giving you half-assed information. And you're not going to get full information ever. And, and if, if you're still two years in thinking that a company is going to give you full information when they're still building and trying to figure these things out themselves, like if you have never run a business, I will let you in on a secret. You have a business plan, but nothing in life goes according to plans. How many of you have made plans and the plan just gets executed perfectly every time? Plan, like stuff happens, bro. Stuff happens. This is business. This is basics. Stuff happens. But can you pivot? Can you maneuver? Do you quit, give up, or do you find a workaround? The fact of the matter is, it's not a lot of clarity around regulation. So even if something like, Vivi is trying to make things right. They're trying to do things to get around the regulation to give us something so that we can see and tell that they're working on it. What we have right now may not be the last and final thing, but it's something. They're showing us that they're giving us something. Like with the OUP program and stuff like that, with the metaverse reveal, they're showing us that they have been working. And this is the stuff that I look at from an investor's um, standpoint. This is what lets me know if I want to be involved in the company or something. Um, this is why I know that the project is going to be successful. I'm looking at the, what, they're, what they're showing us, the action. Like whether you agree that this, this latest OUP is good or whether you think that is bad. Like it doesn't really matter. They're working. They're doing this. It, it's getting done. That, that's a big deal. The fact that they're actually getting things done and they have been getting things done for the longest. Every single problem that they've come across. You can blame them for the whole bot thing and stuff like that. Oh, it should have been better. It could have been better. Like nobody is an expert on this space. Who would they have even hired to, to make sure something like that never happened? It's like, yeah, there, there's going to be some CEOs and stuff that would have caught that because that's probably their area of expertise. But I'm not going to blame them for not being experts at what they're not experts in. It makes no sense. That's like me getting something wrong about a collector and people jumping on me as if I'm a collector. It's like, what? It makes no sense. I'm not supposed to know that. The stuff that I know about collecting, I've learned from the community. I've learned from just the little bit of research that I've done here. It's not my world. So, yeah, man. It's, it's like people just need to really change the perspective and change the way that you look at things. I know I troll a lot. I talk a lot of trash and stuff like that. This is how I am. I'm that way as a person. I like I, that's how you grow up in Chicago, man. You grow up when you, when you grow up in rough areas, you're going to be different. And this is what I hate about people. I hate how judgmental people are because I'm the type of person like if you kind of too soft, you, you like you're somebody you would laugh. We would laugh at you or you would get bullied in Chicago or something like that. Like if you that type of person, I'm not going to sit here and call you out on it or laugh at you or, or not mess with you or not like you or something like that, because I understand that I understand the world at a deeper level. 
like we're all just we're trapped in these environments. We get gain our mindsets, our perspectives, and all this stuff from what we're around, who we're around, and some of us have not been exposed to anything better. Like racist, like race, racist people are usually around other racist people, and and that just shows a certain level of education is not there, or some something happened to something something happened between this person, one person, and another race, and they're just sprinkling it through their family bloodline. It's like. That I, I understand how petty the world is, how petty people are, and it's just being understanding, having empathy. So, yeah, I just, I just hate, I hate human nature. I guess I hate human nature. Um, but I, I'm, I'm not gonna change. I'm gonna be me. I'm gonna have my fun. I'm gonna do what I'm gonna do, and I'm gonna keep growing. Like I don't like. I, I've matured where it matters. When it comes down to my business, my work ethic, my health, things like that, that's what's important to me. Like, I can troll on the internet all day long and know that I'm not the same person that I was, but I still talk trash in a heartbeat. Like, that, that, that don't matter to me. Like, it's like, that's, that's just what it is. Like, that's that's just entertainment. That's like, when I get bored, that's, that's just what it does. But in terms of the value, the true value in this project, in my opinion, is more valuable than ever before. They're constantly still continuing to prove everything that they have been saying since the day I invested in this project. They have done nothing but prove themselves to me time and time again so how can i act like i don't believe in a project the fact of the matter is because the collectibles are more than likely going to be what pumps in the short term i'm going to miss out on a lot of profits that i would have had if i would have just held but that doesn't matter i don't care about getting bb profits in the short term this was never a short term play for me i don't care about that i have an i have an opportunity to build something that can make me money for a lifetime regardless of my, my retirement plan, which is the OMI token. <coughs> so yeah, this is what it comes down to. Now, I would not tell anybody to make the same decisions as me because a lot of people is going to be pissed. Like the thing is, if, if Secret Rare Spider-Man like that I just sold, if it went and popped up to like 30, 40,000 um, after the, re <laughs> the reveal of the metaverse, I'm not going to be mad about that. I'm not going to care because... <laughs> <laughs> I have enough I have enough confidence in myself to believe that I'm going to be able to make that in just the same amount of time. I, I like I'm going to be able to take this money that I have and make that same amount. I have that type of confidence. I can have that confidence in myself. Do you have that same confidence? Are you making these same moves? This is why you shouldn't follow somebody else either. This is why you shouldn't do what another man is doing because you can't do what I'm doing. You don't know what I'm doing. Like I can tell you, yeah, I'm starting a business. You don't know the inner workings of that. And even if you did know the inner workings, there's nobody in the world who does what I do like I do it. And and that's just a fact. Like that 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 is that is a fact. So it's like <clears throat> when I when I'm when I'm investing, when I'm thinking about what I'm going to do and the moves that I make, I focus on my strengths. I focus on my skills and what I bring to the table that no one else can bring to the table. And then I try to zone in on what will make me happy. What can I stay consistent with? Because starting something is easy. Finishing it, following it through, and like that that's what's difficult. So you have to make moves and decisions that you can live with. You won't have regrets. You'll only have lessons. <clears throat> because the fact of the matter is maybe this stuff pumps up so high in the short term where it's like, man, if I would have sold that a month later, if I would have started so if I would have sold everything a month later, I would have I would have I would have got 10x more. Man, maybe I maybe I should be a little bit more patient next time in the future. Like that that's how I'm going to look at it. Maybe I could have did I need to start that business right then. Like maybe that maybe that's how I look at it, but I'm never going to be like, "Man, oh my god." I, like I'm just I'm going to really analyze it. I'm going to and then I'm going to probably still come to the same conclusion that I don't care. I don't care about that. VB is retirement for me. It's always been retirement for me. But because over these last two years, we've had new information, like now we know they're going to be dropping nonstop insane drops. We know that these licenses are, go <coughs> are going to other platforms, making their own platforms, dropping different forms of utility and things like that. This is added risk. This is added variables to track. Now we know regulations are going to be <laughs> coming down hard on NFTs. Excuse me, y'all. I'm still a little, um, got a little cough. <clears throat> we know so much more. And this is the problem with you people who never change. You, those of you who never change, <clears throat> you you don't grow. You don't grow. Like all this information that came out for two years and ain't nothing about you changed. How? Why? What's the benefit of that? What's the value of that? 
You think the person that you work, like Vivi has changed in the last two years and you haven't. Yet you'll criticize everything Vivi does, but for two years you've stayed the same while Vivi has constantly progressed and overcome obstacle after obstacle after obstacle. All the doubts, all the hate, they've overcome it all. And you've stayed the same. <clears throat> That's what it is with this community. Growth. Growth and progression is something that a lot of people don't do, so it's something that a lot of people don't understand. Take the time to really believe in yourself, to really see how important you are because it should be you over any investment. The fact of the matter is you can keep making money. You can make more money. No matter how much money you're making right now, if money is your goal and objective, you can make more money. If you're just chasing fun, a good time, you just love the community, do that. It's like the people in this community can't just do what they love because they spend so much time focusing on what BB's doing. And that's, that's, one, that's exactly why I sold my collectibles too. I'm not going to hold something that I'm not even watching. If I'm not watching the V, I have not opened VV, the VV app in so long. If I'm not even watching this, how can I feel confident about the market, the, the way the market, <coughs> the way the market's moving <coughs> with all these added risk, with all these added variables and things like that? If I'm not even going to watch that, why would I, like, I'm not going to feel comfortable holding that. <coughs> now, crypto, I understand it. One thing that is <coughs> absolutely guaranteed without a doubt, <clears throat> is that if VV is around, the OMI token will be burning. It will be deflationary. We'll, we'll, the OMI token is going to go up in value. That's the only guarantee that we have. The collectibles, some of them will be valuable. Some of them will be trash. VV is planning to release tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of NFTs, hundreds of thousands of collectibles. And some of these collectibles will be the same things over and over, but with new added utility. I don't know their plan. I don't know their strategy. And I have no intentions of crying to them Trying to ask them, oh, are we going to get, are we going to get another Todd type Batman? Are we going to get another Batman that maybe has a ton of utility in the future? Are we going to get a Spider-Man that has even better utility? It's like, I'm not going to be sitting here. Like, I, I don't care. Do what you do. I'll invest in the Omi token, what I understand. And, and we'll leave it at that. I'll invest in every single NFT at the exact same time using the Omi token. That's it. It's really that simple. So now instead of, instead of me taking taking profits a month from now or something like that because I'm dependent on VV to invest and, and make money in the short term. Now I've literally just made sure I had to stay and see this project through because I won't be getting my money out until the end, until, till, till, you know, 10 years from now, at least. <clears throat> so that's the, like, that's the difference between my, like a lot of people who question my conviction and things like that. That's the difference between us. I put my money where my mouth is right now. My funds that I have right now from VV. I'm putting my money where my mouth is when it comes down to my business. I believe in myself and I'm going to make some moves happen with my money. That's what it comes down to. I believe in Vivi. <clears throat> so instead of <clears throat> taking a, a big, a, a bigger payday a month, <clears throat> a month or two from now, instead of taking a bigger payday a month or two from now, I'll, I'll take my, I'll take my payday 10 years from now. Like I said, from the beginning, when I first came into this community, I told you what I was going to do. Still standing on it. <clears throat> That's the difference. I stand by the things that I say. And if something changes, if my plan changes, it's because some variable came up. It's because something happened. Some opportunity came. And then I'm still transparent about what I do, even though I don't have to be. I don't owe nobody an explanation. I don't, I'm don't. i not under the illusion that I owe somebody an explanation. But I make these videos and talk to you all like I do to help you. Because I never had nobody to help me. I never had nobody to understand the, th the things that, that I'm trying to do, the things that I'm trying to build. And... If you've been on my channel, you can't say you never had nobody to understand. You may not have liked what I had to say or how I said it, but I'm I'm not I've not got on here trying to screw nobody over, hurt nobody, none of that. I've only been real. I've only been transparent. I've only tried to help. <clears throat> and that that's just what it is. That's who I am as a person. That's who I am as a man. Even when I was super toxic, I I just went about things the wrong way. My intentions were never were always pure. My intention was never bad. So I haven't changed. It's just like people are like, oh, are you depressed or something like that? Like, honestly, I feel happier, more confident. Life is beautiful right now, man. I'm gonna be honest with you. Life is better than it's ever been. And that's the truth. That's why I'm in a place where I can believe in myself, love myself, and trust myself more with my own money than I can than I have to trust VV with. <clears throat> I can put a little bit of money here in VV and in the OMI token and I, I trust them to do what I know that they're going to do. But at the end of the day, I'm going to take my money, 
keep running up money, and every single week, I'm going to throw something back into OMI. I'm going to keep doing that over the next 10 years, like this is the S&P 500. Over the next 10 years, I'm going to keep putting something back into OMI from this business that I'm building off these funds right now, and we're going to see where we end up. <clears throat> like, you can call it a shit coin. You can call it whatever you want to call it. Everybody has their opinions. But if it's an opinion like that, keep it to yourself. That's not valuable information to me. <clears throat> I know what OMI is considered. I know what crypto people is looking at this, this project like. I know if you look at the token like. That doesn't matter to me. None of that matters to me. I stand on my own convictions. I stand on what I believe in. That's all that matters. And yeah, that's just the way that I, that's, that's the way that I see it. That's the way I look at things, man. So let me know. Let me know what y'all think in the comment section down below. I definitely want to hear, hear how y'all feeling, man. Um, I got some more videos coming soon. I'm going to be checking out some opinions and thoughts from some of the broader community. Some YouTubers have hit me up, let me know that they're about to make some content and some videos on, on the, the, you know, the, the whole me selling and, and, and the, <clears throat> is it more valuable to sell on me right now and things like that or to, to sell your collectibles right now? <clears throat> so yeah. Um, <clears throat> and what I will tell you is that no, if you're here from short term gains, if you're looking for short term gains, you need money now. <clears throat> chances are it would be a terrible decision to sell right now. Um, me personally, I invested $3,000. So everything over that is profit for me. I'm, I'm very high in profit right now because I best believe I, I cash out way more than $3,000. So <clears throat> taking that into consideration, for me, it's cool. It's like, it, it's cool. I, I've taken out enough to start a business and invest in an OMI token, which is, which, that's my goal. So it's like... <clears throat> Yeah, it's like, when it comes down to it, I did what's best for my situation. I can't tell somebody what's best for your situation, but a lot of people, you take that money out, you're going to do something with it that you don't need to be doing with it right now, and you're going to miss out on a ton of profit that could be coming up within months. <coughs> my decision is not for everybody. Be yourself. Think about what's best for you. Consider you. You, your family. Consider Consider what's important. I'm not important. These random people on the internet talking in your ear is not important. You are important. Think about you, your risk tolerance. Can you hold for 10 years and know that you're not going to waver? Like, it's people in this community who question my my faith in Vivi more than I ever have. I, like, Vivi is set in stone for me. I can put, I've told you all from the beginning, I can push it in the back of my mind and never think about Vivi again for 10 years. And that's just how I am. So I can cash out. I can put my investment, I can put my money in something that's going to take me 10 years to get a return, and I'm good. Like, that's that's my conviction, though. Everybody can't do that. So don't trick yourself into thinking. Don't watch one of my videos, get motivated, and think that you can hold for 10 years if you're not really like that. Because the next Omi token scare that comes up where, oh, it looked like we could be losing everything, <clears throat> are you going to trust that the team is going to have your back and deliver, or are you going to be panicking and on the foot train with all these other clowns out here? Don't put yourself in a position that you're not built for. Do what's best for you. Everyone don't have to have the same risk tolerance and same, same make the same decisions as someone else. Be yourself. You're perfect the way you are. Don't try to be nobody else. Be the best you. Be the best version of you. You're perfect. Trust me, I promise you. And that, But that's pretty much it, yo. Um, let me know what y'all think in the comments. Be sure to drop that thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on notifications. And I'll catch you all on the next one. Peace out, fam.